best things about going online with your PS3 is going onto the PlayStation Store and checking out what games that they have for download. It's also one of the best things about having an Xbox 360, just seeing what's the download. Now, Xbox Live Arcade has a hell of a lot more games than PS3, but the PS3 has something that Live Arcade will never have, and that's the PS1 Classics. By far one of my favorite things that they have on there. And one of the reasons is because PS1 is pretty much like my favorite game system ever. To me, it made many people into hardcore gamers and helped establish a current gen in consoles as far as being taken seriously and not just a bunch of fucking cartoon mascot animal critters running around jumping on shit. Not that there's anything wrong with that because some of them were pretty good, but still, it, it definitely paved the way. And especially went from being a Super Nintendo add-on into being a full-fledged powerhouse to deal with. But onto the PlayStation Network with the PS1 Classics. There's so many good games on there, and I'm just like, wow, you know, I love going on there and getting some of the games, playing them. I'm PlayStation Plus subscription, so I get some games for free. And that's even better because just recently I got Spyro. Yes, Spyro isn't the like coolest game in the entire world, but I have fond memories of it whenever I was younger. So yeah, I'm definitely going to fucking download it and play it. It's free. You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, not a free game. <sighs> Get away. Nobody wants to play your free games. But the thing is, with that, yeah, pretty awesome. But there comes a time where you're going through the list, and you're like, hey, I remember this game, and 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 this game, and, this game, and none of them are on there. Why the fuck not? PlayStation 3 has been out for uh, quite a few years now, yet is missing a whole slew, a whole fuck ton of PlayStation 1 games. And I don't even know why. It, it's like, and their games, some of which are made by Sony, developed by Sony, published by Sony, they're not on there. Why? It's just fucking retarded. You know, they can put them on there every single week. Why don't they put them on there? Don't really know. I mean, it's just extra money to make. It doesn't really cost extra. Then there's games that they had as greatest hits, meaning that it sold a lot to become a greatest hits, to have that ugly neon green fucking sticker on the side. Yet, what do you know? They're not on there. Stupid as shit. And it's like, no, not money. No, don't want that. Ew. It's like, dude. Dude. These games are awesome! What the fuck are you doing? They're just... They're, they're not doing anything with them. That's the fucking problem. So I've pretty much decided that I'm going to make a list. And I'm going to go through it of games that I noticed from my own personal game collection that aren't on there that definitely deserve to be because not only are these games epic and awesome and badass and fucking sold like a motherfucker, but damn it, a new generation of gamers deserve to be able to play these classics because they don't always have access to be able to pick up these titles and a lot of people are not willing to go online and fetch a hundred dollars or more from their bank account to pay for like Valkyrie Profile or so we get two or anything like that because that is fucking ridiculous to be able to play a classic game that a lot of people enjoyed and now we're gonna pay out the ass for it? No. Screw that. So here goes the list of all the games that are, for one reason or another, missing and should definitely be for download on PSN. Road Rash 3D. Road Rash. Road Rash Jailbreak. Doom. Final Doom. Tekken 1. Tekken 3. Alundra 2. Einhander. Dino Crisis 2. Chrono Cross. Legend of Ligaya. Legend of Dragoon, Duke Nukem Total Meltdown, Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Duke Nukem Land of the Babes, Dragon Warrior 7, Parasite Eve, Persona, Tombo 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Breath of Fire 3, Breath of Fire 4, Parasite Eve 2, Need for Speed 1, 2, and 3, Mega Man Legends, Persona 2, Mega Man 8, Mega Man X Series, Mega Man Legends 2, Loaded, 
Final Fantasy Anthologies, Valkyrie Profile, Final Fantasy Origins, Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2, Die Hard Trilogy, Star Ocean The Second Story, Ridge Racer Revolution, Rage Racer, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Road Trip, Twisted Metal 1, Tales of Destiny, Gran Turismo 1 and 2, Tales of Destiny 2, The Tony Hawk Pro Skater Series, Tenchu 1 and 2, Air Combat, Ace Combat 2 and 3, Soul Blade, Fear Effect 1 and 2, Bray Fencer Musashi, Guilty Gear, Darkstalkers 3, Suikoden 2, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Wild 9, Incredible Crisis. Now, all those games definitely deserve their rightful spot for being on PS3 and being downloaded from PSN by the millions of fans that are out there. Basically just waiting for them to make their triumphant return so that they can be played on your PS3 or on your PSP. And they haven't. Now, luckily, they recently announced that they're finally, finally, bringing Xenogears over here and also they're bringing a couple other games like Ridge Racer 4 which those were originally on my list whenever I was making this until I saw that announcement and it was like about fucking time. Europe and Japan have tons more games than we do on the PSN network. It's like we're not getting much of shit out of it. And I don't really get why because everybody I know with uh, PS3 has downloaded multiple PS1 games, whether they were ones that they liked playing whenever they were younger or if they're just games that are like, oh, dude, I can't believe that's on her. Always want to play that. And then they download it. I mean, most of the games are like $6. That's a great price for how awesome half of them are. Like Resident Evil 2, $6 fucking dollars. Hell yeah, I would definitely, definitely pay for that. I mean, just thinking about how rare some of these games are now, and then the idea of putting them onto there so that people can actually experience the games without basically going broke is a really nice thing. But what annoys the shit out of me is some of the garbage ass titles that they have on there. Like if you scroll down the list and go down to the bottom, there's like a little thing. It's like XS Airboat Racing and Junior League Dodgeball in Soccer. Those are fucking awful. Like they're so bad. I would rather have a fucking van packed with 400 plus pound women drive over me over and over again and then eventually just fucking park and then they can just fart up the entire place until I die from just breathing in their ass fumes. Like it's fucking terrible. Like who sat down and was like, oh man, this is a great game. Let's put this on here. And the biggest insult of it all is the little fucking picture, the little icon showing the game. It says PS1 classics like it does on every single one of them. PS1 classics. That right there is like a fucking slap in the face to any of the good games. Like, who do you, do you really fucking think that you're ever going to meet somebody who's like, man, PlayStation 1, oh my god, I remember playing games on there. Man, those are so awesome. Like those XS games, oh man, they were so killer. No, you'll, that will never, ever, ever happen if it does. It's a sick joke, and you should also check the calendar, because it's probably April Fool's Day and somebody's fucking with you. And if they're not, beat them. Beat them to death. Put them out of their misery. Hopefully they come back, you know, reincarnated or maybe come back as a zombie. Something useful because having taste like that, you do not deserve a fucking place in the world anymore. You should just be dead. You know, that's really about it. Like, feed you to wild fucking animals, anything. Like squirrels, rabbit squirrels. That'd be great. You know, there's games like that and like Ford Racing and Rallycross. Those games are fucking garbage too. Yet they're on there. PS1 Classics. Yeah, my fucking ass PS1 classics. What dickhead decided that this was a great idea, okay? Anybody that decided to put PS1 classics on there, or let alone even decide to put those particular games on there, and none of the ones that I listed off, let alone all the ones that anybody else watching this video might be like, you know, they should have this, this, and this, and this. 
you know, they're they're fucking stupid. That's all I can say for not putting those awesome games on there. And the thing is, I know that there's tons of games that I did not actually mention. And, you know, I'm just going off of, like, things that I have personally. That I'm like, oh, that'd be cool, and that'd be cool, and that'd be cool. That I know a lot of other people enjoy. So, what games do you feel that they should actually have on there? You know, some of your favorites that just for one reason or another didn't make the cut. For you know, at sake of argument, let's say like the Lunar games, you know, because that's something I didn't list off, but those are games that should make it on there, but they're on so many other fucking consoles, that's why I didn't really name them. But still, just the fact that I'm sure there's games that you guys are like, oh, that'd be a bitchin' game. Nice thing, though, and one of the nicest things is that they have the Japanese imports coming in now. That's really cool. So I have my fingers crossed that they're going to bring over quite a few games that just didn't ever get translated into English. So, yeah. Comment down below. Talk about whatever games that you want to see put on there. All the games that you think are absolute fucking rubbish that they have on there. And hopefully Sony hears our pleas. And if not, well, fuck them. We can just keep on bitching until something happens, right? Right?